cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in life of a cancerium for June 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in the space of having to make a decision? You got two choices. Which one are you going to choose? For some of you all, it's having to do with love or the shmani. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is first time on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time on my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. They can best or further assist you without cussing, okay? Because I'm going to do that. Return to subscribers. What's up, family? What's popping, gang, gang? New subscribers. Hey, boo. Welcome to the family. <laughs> we only dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss, we grow, we love, we share, we enlighten, we evolve. Positive vibes only, okay? Um, this is not going to resonate with everybody, you guys, as it's general. If you need a person a reading, uh, that information will be found within the description. I'm trying to get all the videos finished today so I can drop a reading special. And then we can have us a QA and a or something, okay? Because it's been a long time. We need to talk. Cancel thought. We need to talk, y'all. Right? So... Without further ado, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Cancer. Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. I humbly appreciate y'all. Thank you for just being supportive, period, and being a part of my family, okay? So we're going to get to it. We're going to start with the intuitive messages. Let's rock. I tried to. I was trying to get you guys in later, but I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get Cancer in now because I have a few readings, and I was just like, well, I'm just going to um, clear out my energy and just kind of upload with the signs that I was going to be uploading with, you know, a bit early. So, y'all be looking for it, all right? If you cross watch, let's get it. All right? All right, Cancer Intuitively for you guys, I got self-worth, mediumship, life cycle, paranormal activity, spiritual protection, financial abundance, forgiveness, make a decision, obsessive, Missing pieces of info, awakenings, deception, plot twists, dark magic, shadow self, ghosting, prioritize, family ties, temper, betrayal, reconsider, intercepted, divine intervention, past life, karmic partner, investments, Legalities, manipulation, plan B, con artist, coward X, sudden wealth, thief, and spiritual path. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Whew. Talk about them intuitive messages. Cancel. What the heck? Did I just tell y'all to talk y'all? Let me find out. I need to go get one of these bills out this closet. Not for the play. Y'all know how to get the bill. You know. You already know it. All right? Y'all, let's talk about it. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the two of spades, okay? Definitely needed to make a decision which way am I going, um, which way am I going, which way am I looking, okay? For some of you all during this time, there's a focus on the root chakra. Some of you guys may be having a case of insomnia in the month of June, like you can't sleep, you find yourself being awake. They want you to, Spirit wants you to move, um, when you find yourself in this space, uh, for some of you all, it's a need for you all to actually get creative and actually be even if you if you can't sleep, whatever the hell you've been pushing off to the damn side while your ass is awake, get to it. Now you can't say you ain't have the time. Okay? You guys are in this energy and will be in this energy in the month of June where you guys are just really focused on the self. Even if you're with your partner, it's, 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 a, it's an emphasis of missed time, the time that I've allowed pass by. Okay? You guys are having some form of an awakening. The things that are not supposed to be in your life. You've been praying for abundance. You've been praying for miracles. You've been praying for manifestation, for things that, for harvest of your the, uh, the things that you've been trying to manifest. You're getting what you're asking for. However, your perception around it during this time may be a bit negative, and Spirit wants you to transmute that. For some of you all, you are dealing with immutable signs. Some of y'all are dealing with Sagittarius, Virgo, um, Pisces, or a Gemini during this time, and there's a sense of balancing okay some of you guys i'm hearing are dealing with other fixed energies um and with cardinal signs there's a sense of mending that's needed to go you're dealing with capricorn aries um capricorn aries libra or can another cancer it's like a, a sense of like 
both parties are like mending fences, even if it's on externally, so that things can come together later at a later time. Um, you guys have, you guys are getting a lot of vivid dreams as well as some of y'all have spirit, new, new, new spiritual abilities. Some of you guys have the gift of premonition, I see. But the issue with having premonition and foresight and take it from somebody who know personally is that you don't know when. So a lot of y'all, intuition is at all time damn high here. A lot of y'all already know shit finna hit the fan. But there's a balance that's coming. For some of you all, you're dealing with someone who has been dealing with you working from their shadow self. Or this could be someone trying to manipulate a situation because they have a noise. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone who's very intuitive, okay? Or you could also be very intuitive. You, you can't, so you're very fucking intuitive. Come natural to you, baby. Some of you guys, um, there's a sense, whatever information that was missing out of a situation, you're going to have some type of perception shift during this time. Something that's going to, um, I'm hearing uh, missing pieces. There is some type of missing piece of information that is going to be coming forth during this time. For some of you all, you may be finding out that um, I heard inheritance. Some of y'all could be finding out that someone cut someone out of an inheritance, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out that the person you in love with could be on the damn run because I'm, I'm hearing on the run. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that's on the run or was running from some type of legality issues. Some of y'all could be finding out that somebody didn't even win and got like married somewhere else or could have married someone for some type of finances, which is why this person, even though the love is there, it, it can't be expanded on because this person, if there's a sense of on the run. Some of you guys, someone could have lied to you or could have like, someone could have sold you false hope, like played on your desires, you could be finding out somebody's been, I call it finessing, okay? Some of y'all could find out that you've been a victim of the finesse, okay? Some of you could find out that someone was either using you for finances or using you for, um, I'm hearing rebound, okay? Cancer, this make me want to fight this person. I, that's my shadow self. I'm working on it. We all work in practice. Work in progress. We whips around here. Work in progress. Be progressive. Because I want to fight. Right, you feel the deep breath so you can feel who the fuck is doing this. Because this is sad. This is all around self-love, self-worth. Some of you all have been waiting uh, for some type of news or some type of information regarding some type of business loan or something about a creative endeavor, your entrepreneurship. You will be... That is going to be coming forward. You needed to shift your perception because some of you guys are looking at things very negatively. Your intuition is on point. If you've already seen it and you already have to use your gift of foresight, your gift of premonition to see the blessings that is getting ready to come. Understand that when you ask in God, spirit, whoever you pray to, mother, God, the universe, whoever you pray to, okay? Understand that your perception around the situation has to be continuously interchangeable, I'd say. Instead of looking at a situation for from a, you betrayed me or you did this. Because some of y'all I'm hearing, you dodging a bullet. Spirit is removing. Some of y'all is literally cutting ties with the devil. You signed a contract a long time ago, I'm here. And you're cutting ties with the devil, but it's how you perceive in this. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who has made you feel as if you need them. But if you really focus on the action around what's really the, 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 the pretty much the dynamic this person's upbringing a lot of y'all things are coming to the surface like there were missing pieces some y'all may have beat y'all self up for a situation trying to show someone that you know you're that person to show someone what you could bring to the table and you find out that this person has some type of mental issues i'm hearing psychological issues genetic psychological so some of y'all this person crazy crazy make sure before you have children and shit with people Meet crazy Uncle Larry first, okay? That motherfucking uncle who they don't let talk to nobody every time you date. They, they're trying to get ready to talk. Somebody comes and be like, hey, what you know? Nah, 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 nah. Sit down and have a conversation with that motherfucker. Because that's who's going to tell you about who you're dealing with, okay? But there is some type of, uh, there is some type of expanding, expansion happening in the month of June for you guys after, um, expansion off of the breakdown, okay? So there could be foundations that really weren't, they weren't solid. But there's a whole different sight. Your sight, the way that you view things during this time is changing. The way that you view the love for yourself and what it is that you deserve. No more third party shits. No more allowing, you know, myself to stay in situations where I feel underpaid or overworked and, and, and not appreciated. It's about 
moving toward the things that you love and that you deserve based on the overextending in the harvest and the seeds from the harvest that's waiting to come to you. But the only person preventing that for some of y'all is you because you're not holding, you're holding on to, for some of y'all, emotions. For some of y'all, it's communication. Speak your truth. Stand your ground. Stand in your power during this time. And for some of you all, it's about making, after being informed, you know that saying, when you know better, you do better? Well, it's a whole lot of knowing going to come. What you going to do? That is the question for my babies during this time. Okay? Some of you guys could be going back to school as well. And some of you all are learning something having to do with, some of y'all some of y'all could also be working on like love potions or something like that. Or some of y'all could, I, I'm going to see how I call it. Some of you guys, there's some of y'all could also be like learning how to do different type of magic spells. Or there's some type of like, some of y'all could also be connecting with, um, one second. Some of y'all could be connecting with your ancestors during this time as well. Some of you all have a different way of attracting things. Some of y'all could also be learning about different forms of the law of attraction as well. And for some of you all, you're communicating with someone who's crossed over to the other side, who's assisting you. Some of y'all, it's like you're, you're being chosen like as the key. Some of you all were designated to end a cycle or break a cycle or for that matter to continue on some type of legacy, some type of family heritage or some type of culture. And it was meant for you to come forth and innovate that, innovate this path in this life. For some of y'all, this could also involve a twin flame union as well. Some of y'all could also be trying to manifest your twin. Or in putting that strong intention out with the law of attraction, learning different things, you manifest your damn twin. And <laughs> you don't realize how powerful you really are. But you're finna learn, kind of size. Let's get it. Right? One second. What messages do you have? My beautiful cancers. Come on, Rabbit and me. For the month of June. In love. What messages do you have for my cancers? Okay, so some of you guys, some of you guys could be reconciling with the water sign or rec reconciling with someone from your past, okay, to heal a situation. This could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay, and for some of you all, some of y'all are just going to choose to be independent, choose to be single, okay, after some, after possibly trying to reconcile with someone to heal the situation and some type of secrets come out, okay. For some of you all, this could have to do with either your past or someone else's past. Someone is feeling remorseful for, for something that occurred in the past. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. For some of you all. This could also be trying to heal a relationship, possibly with an Aries, okay? Or an Aries possibly wants to come in and heal a relationship. This could also be a Taurus. For some of you all, you're dealing with reconciliation after going in this solitude, going in this space of solitude. Some of y'all are going to go in this space of solitude during this time and just focus on your money. Focus on your creative endeavors, okay? Some of y'all are feeling as if you were used in the past. It's like you want to heal the relationship, but it's kind of like some of you guys are wanting to heal a relationship or this person is wanting to come in and heal a relationship with you out of a space of codependency. I definitely feel like there is, for some of y'all, new love on the table. There's definitely an extension of love during this time to someone that you're dealing with. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Virgo. Some of y'all are reconciling with a Virgo who you possibly have children with. This could also be your children if you've been having issues with your child and your child is a Virgo. Oh, if your child is a Virgo and Aries, I definitely feel like you're going, your child is going through some type of transformation. You're going through a transformative cycle. And for some of you all, it's about transmuting. Like someone here is transmuting some type of family dynamic or some type of dynamic. With the King of Wands, this could have to do with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you all, some of y'all have someone, some of y'all are going to be traveling traveling in to communicate with someone. Or someone's traveling in to communi uh, communicate some type of truth with you. For some of you all, this is someone speaking up and saying, hey, I can't do this shit no more because I found passion elsewhere. For some of you all, this could have to do with the move. Or receiving some type of communication regarding something that you've invested in. Something that you're passionate about. Okay. 
Some of y'all got a Leo that want to come in and speak their damn truth, Cancer. They want to tell you something. And I feel like with this particular issue, there could have been some type of control manipulation or some type of somebody that had control issues and someone in the relationship is like, woe is me. You know, they don't want to take accountability, you know, but they just want things. Somebody is coming in very fast. Some of you guys have a very passionate union coming from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like for some of you all, this is around self-worth. What have I been doing that has been creating the same type of energy in my damn life? What can I do differently to, you know, you can't keep doing the same shit and expecting different results. That's a form of insanity. You understand? And if this is what you've been doing, this is why you feel like you're losing your damn mind because I, I just can't keep doing this. So it's about you speaking up, speaking your truth. Look, we're going to fix this shit. Or I'm going to move the fuck away. For some of you all, you're hearing back regarding some type of transportation, okay? Some of y'all, if you are uh, waiting to hear back regarding uh, some type of finances around or some type of approval for transportation, I do see that. That being positive news coming for you during the month of June. For some of you all, yeah, some of y'all manifested a damn soulmate. And now this person is here and here and, and traveling in your damn face. It's like, nah, I just want to focus on my money. But love is inevitable for you all. It's about being in love with the right person. Some of you guys may feel like things with the fire sign is moving too fast. But it's, it's no too fast. You manifested this, baby. Them days of crying, them tears, all of them emotions. You put all them damn cups together and learn how to use them and from, a, from a space of harvest. Good shit, cancers. My cancers. Yeah, for some of you all, this was some type of. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all manifested the damn truth about somebody being committed, committed or in the marriage already. And some of you guys, you're dealing with a damn tourist that drink too much, and you're gonna set your boundaries and set clear boundaries with this person, or if they're not drinking too much. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who got a sex addiction. And some of you all. You manifested this commitment. You manifested abundance. You manifested fairness when it came to some type of court decision. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Some of y'all are manifesting separating from some damn body. Like, yeah, damn, damn. Yeah, come on. Come through, spirit. Separating from some damn body if things are not able to change. Some of you guys are seeing 555 five, five a lot. It's a lot of five in this reading, even through major arcana. Some of you guys are separating with somebody, and it has to do with somebody giving. A little bit, a little bit of love for a little bit too long, and it's a little bit too late because somebody is in a somebody's in anxiety mode about a twin flame situation, about some type of reconciliation, possibly with a fire sign. For some y'all, it's with a Taurus. Others of you, you have new love coming in the form of a water sign. But in order for you to be able to accept and express this love, baby, you got to move away from the anxiety behind what the past did to you with all these damn swords. Don't charge your present. For your past, for your past person's dumb shit, okay? Some of you guys have an apology coming in, possibly from a fire sign. Aries still Sagittarius. And for some of y'all, this person is really in their head during this time. Some of y'all dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius that y'all finna walk away from. And I feel like it has to do with this person being very dry and cutthroat around the emotions. But Cancer definitely has a decision to make, but some of y'all is involving. Okay, for some of you all, some of y'all, this could be involving the Pisces, Libra, the mother or father of your children. This could even be external to you, but somebody, either you or another person has a judgment to make possibly about a family situation, fulfillment, and overall happiness and what you see is abundance. For some of y'all, it's about actually staying at a work situation or actually branching off into your own entrepreneurship. Some of you guys are make, definitely making decisions around family and structure. Do I choose overextending myself in some shit that may or may not work because we've been here, done this many, many times? Or do I choose to move forward and continuously create this abundance that I know I can manifest because I'm seeing it come come before me? But some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius as well. Pisces, Aries, Libra, Virgo, Taurus in the building. But you're definitely there to focus around family. Someone is needed to make a decision on which way they're going to go. Because some of y'all finna cut off a damn Leo. And some of y'all gonna cut off somebody because you're gonna find out that this person is only around you for what you could do for them financially. Some of y'all are being used by a Leo, a water sign, a Sagittarius. And it was all I'm seeing for some of y'all, you're gonna find out it was an illusion to keep you involved while someone was hiding out. 
from their karma. And for some of y'all, you're getting a chance to break the damn deal with the devil because for some of you guys, this person has been deceptive in love. Some of you guys, you're going to find out that you could have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone else was expressing their love to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like this is all around a divine partnership. But it's honestly, it's kind of interesting because it looks like your person has a divine partnership or your person may have some karma that they have to tie up and you got harvest that you got to reap. Period. Okay. So y'all let me know how this resonates. This is what I have for my babies in love. If you are cross watching for a Leo, as soon as my reading is over, I'll be right back with they damn tea. Okay. I love you guys so very much. It has been real. Um, I want to send you guys many blessings, much love and light, and I will see you guys back mid-month June. And also, y'all better get them damn views up. Y'all, why is them views so sorry? Who them views were sorry? Get y'all views. I said, I do not feel loved by them cancers. Whew. Now, if you don't want to be put with the water sign element, y'all better y'all better get them views up. I'm going live with Pisces for this first half. Y'all usually show up and show out. Show, show up and show out. Share with a friend. Tell somebody. Because this, for this damn tea that I just read. Oh, you know any counselors y'all need to just pass. Go on, pass it around. Pass the collection plate around this motherfucker. Okay? But you guys let me know how it resonates. <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. I love you guys very, very, very much. And I will talk to you guys again. Bye, babies.